welcome back to our channel. In this video, you will see our miniature horse Pickles giving birth to a beautiful paint filly. Hi everyone, this is Marco once again with Baybeca Ranch Miniature Horses in Cedar City, Utah. And here you will see pickles going up and down already with labor pains trying to position the foal until she start pushing really hard. This is Pickle's fifth baby here at our ranch. And by this time, I am assuming that she knows what's going on. We never had an issue with Pickle's giving birth. Thank goodness. Look how smart she is. She is using the wall to help her with that particular contraction. Look at her body. All turn and the wall is helping her to alleviate probably the pain on that contraction. One of the signs of labor is when a horse keeps going up and down several times right before they start pushing. But in this particular one, we believe the pickles start pushing for good. Look how her legs are all straight. time when she goes down look what she does she start pushing a little bit you can see in her belly and then she start rocking to help position the baby to come out it's a process that's perfect nature is perfect 
and us as the animal owner, we worry more because it's our babies. But most horses are able to deliver their babies without any complications whatsoever. Look how hard Pickles is pushing right now. Her water bag just broke. And now Pickles is in full blown labor. This baby should be born in just a couple minutes. We see the legs coming out and that is a great sign because we want both legs to come. Then here comes the nose, and the head, and the neck. And once the shoulder comes out, everything else falls out. And here we have our new baby foal. Pickles now is just catching her breath after hard labor and giving birth. Once Pickle gets up, the placenta that's still attached to the uterus tears away from the baby's face. Nature's instinct kicks in and Pickles begin licking and drying the newborn. This licking not only cleans the baby, but also stimulates her and encourages her to stand. In a while, this process is crucial. The mother gets the baby up and quickly moves away from the birth site to avoid attracting predators. They are drawn by the smell of blood. Pickles is still having contractions, which is normal. She's going up and down and moving like that helps her to pass the afterbirth. While Pickles is resting, the baby is trying to figure her legs out. And exactly 30 minutes after she was born, she stood up on her own. And all wobbly, look at her, trying her hardest. She's almost falling, but she takes two steps and falls close to Mama. And in a little bit, she tries again. This was our fourth night anticipating Pickles giving birth. I went to bed early because I was quite tired and I set my alarm for 11.30 at night to check my phone. At 11.10, Troy woke me up saying that he saw some commotion in front of Pickles' stall through our kitchen window. I looked at the phone and saw blood on the wood shavings. 
Troy ran to the barn and called me, saying that we had a beautiful paint foam. I joined him a couple minutes later, and we were both elated with the gorgeous baby. The foal was already walking and almost completely dry and nursing. The cleanup crew comes in and clean all the wet wood shavings, trying not to get her more upset than she already is. Pickles is being herself after giving birth. A very protective mother. to put a halter on Pickles and tie her up so we can get a hold of the baby and doctor its navel and of course find out if it's a boy or a girl Thank you for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video because we sure enjoyed making it for you. This is a special time for us and we have a healthy baby, thank goodness. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video with your friends to have the love for this little miniature horses like we do. Please make sure you come back to see more of our videos because we are going to have a bunch coming in. See you next time. We appreciate you all.